One of my passions uh, within neuroscience uh, has been the development of uh, antidepressants and anxiolytic agents. Uh, one of the compounds I worked on for 10 years at Smith Klein Beecham was the antidepressant uh, paroxetine, Soroxat or Paxil as it's known in the US. Now this compound uh, was one of a number of SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And it was an advance on what had gone before with regard to our understanding of depression and anxiety. Trying to uh, bring this compound forward was not without its difficulties within the Beecham organization who I work for uh, because of some of the side effects associated with uh, anxiety and depression. So there's still a lot of controversy uh, around antidepressants and the treatment of depression and whether these compounds actually show any efficacy. But that takes me back to a period of my life where I'd moved to America and my wife and I were looking at uh, an apartment um, to buy. The lady who was selling the apartment, we wanted a three bedroom apartment. The lady who was selling the apartment to us uh, asked me to sign the contract and of course you have to sign your occupation. So I put something down like neuroscientist and she said, I can't thank you people enough. She said, are you involved in drug development? And I said, well, yes, uh, I have been. She said, well, do you know anything about a compound called Soroxat? Paxil? I said, yes, I did, I've, having worked 10 years on the compound, but I, I didn't mention that to her. She said, well, you've, you people have given me back my husband. And he'd been a actor on Broadway uh, for many years, and unfortunately, uh, he suffered from depression or has been suffering from depression. Soroxat has given my husband back to me uh, a following treatment with Soroxat. So I can't thank you enough. But would you sign this other contract for me? So I thought, sign another contract? She said, this is for a two bedroom apartment. She said, I know you want a three bedroom apartment, but this is for a two bedroom apartment. And as soon as you walk in, you'll fall in love with it. So my wife and I said, okay, fine. So we go down, open the door, and walk into this two bedroom apartment. And there before us was a, a huge window expanse which overlooked the Hudson River and the view of Manhattan and the Empire State Building. So we fell in love with it. So that is one of a number of people that have come to me over the years and said uh, thank you as a neuroscientist for helping me with my depression.